Hey everybody, so today I'm here to talk to you guys about something that is no fun at all, and that is clogs. So at first I'm just going to go over a whole bunch of information for you guys about what clogs are, how they happen, what to do to prevent them, and at the end, if you're interested, I'm going to be including my personal experience with clogs. But to go ahead and get started, I'm going to explain what they are. It is a blockage of your milk duct when the tissue around it may become swollen, inflamed, and that presses on your milk duct, obstructing milk flow. As for the symptoms you may have, just know you may have some of these, you might have one and not the other. It just varies from person to person and situation to situation. Some of the symptoms are a hard knot or lump, soreness and tenderness, decreased output, engorgement, not feeling empty or not emptying well, a warm spot or redness. Now as for why and kind of troubleshooting as to how these happen, not emptying completely, whether it be nursing or pumping or both, or wearing tight clothes, skipping pumping or nursing sessions, improper flange size or latch, sleeping on your belly, wearing an underwire bra, or even bleeps. Now, bleeps are something that can form on your nipple, and it basically is a clog itself. It's this little thing, and I don't know if I'll be able to insert a picture. If not, I will have a Google Doc down below for you guys that will include pictures. Basically, a bleep is just something that can form on your nipple that blocks milk flow, so it is technically a clog itself, and there's different ways to go about curing those, but like I said, check out the Google Doc if you're confused or you think you may have a bleep. On to how to relieve a clog. This is a question I get asked a lot. I will address how I like to relieve them here in a moment, but as for right now, this is a list of tried and trues that I've heard from several moms. Now, it is very important that you relieve clogs because they can start to cause serious pain and engorgement. Try not to let it get to that point. Try to be kind of like on top of it. You know, feel your breasts every once in a while. Make sure that you're not noticing any kind of soreness or tenderness because Getting ahead of these things is key. You don't want to wait until you're engorged and it hurts to touch yourself and you know it's going to cause a lot of pain to try and relieve it. Ideally you would like to go ahead and relieve the clog before it gets that bad. Also clogs can lead to mastesis which is a bacterial infection in your breast and if you think you may have mastesis which the symptoms for that is fever, flu-like symptoms, nausea, headaches, if you feel like you may have mastesis, go see a doctor as soon as possible. Now onto those ways about how to relieve a clog. You can go ahead and pump, nurse, hand express, whatever is, you know, your preference. Go ahead and start with that first. Now if that doesn't work, just a regular pumping, nursing, hand expression kind of session, go ahead and try to dangle pump or nurse or hand express. You can Google dangle nursing holds and you'll get a ton of different results but as far as pumping what I like to do is I like to sit on the edge of my couch here and I try to lean forward where I am kind of dangling and I try to put my butt as far back on the couch as I possibly can and that way I am leaning forward now I have straight up when a clog is bad gotten on my knees and one hand hold me up and the other one is holding the flange to me and straight up dangle pumped you can also try it on your bed where basically your torso is hanging off your bed and you can try to dangle pump that way. But I feel like the couch is just the most realistic and doable. When it comes to hand expressing, what I do is I get on all fours and I just use whatever hand, you know, the boob is on and use that to hand express. I put a towel underneath me, like a full size bath towel, because if you're hand expressing a clog out, it's going to go everywhere. So I like to put a towel down and I like to put a bowl just to kind of collect whatever I can. But honestly, I'm most worried about just getting the thing out. Massaging is a huge thing. Do not underestimate the power of massaging. A lot of moms I talk to say, I know, but it hurts. And it's like, I, I get you girl and I feel it, but you got to work through the pain. All right. Massaging will help unlodge that thing. It'll help so much. And you don't want to be too like uh, aggressive with it. You don't want to be too like deep tissueing massaging yourself because that may do more harm than good what I like to do is I like to like kind of shake my boob I'm obviously not going to demonstrate for you and I try to like jump around a little bit to me that helps relieve clogs a little bit more than actually like massaging it I don't know that's just me also you can try alternating warm and cold compresses I normally start with warm and then I go with cold and I go just back and forth about every five minutes if I'm not getting any kind of results from it so on to the next one vibration vibration is great I use my Clarisonic it has a pretty wide handle on it and I get behind the clog and you just want to push it out so that's what you can do you can also use an 
like mechanical toothbrush. I've bought like those $7 ones at Walmart before when I was desperate. And uh, I know other women who use other things that vibrate. So there you go. An Epsom salt bath can do a lot of good too. When I used to do kind of like warm hot baths, if I had a clog with Sophie, I would go ahead and fill the tub up and I would lay on my tummy, letting my boobs dangle in the water. So that is a great one. And just kind of warm baths, warm showers, if you don't have a bath, is great too. I almost said I didn't have a shower. I have a shower, people. I don't have a bathtub. I only have a standing shower. So in this one, we have a detachable um, shower head. So what I do is I put it on like the jets and I go ahead and I pick my boob up and I run that thing across my boob and that helps a lot if you have a standing shower. You can also try some lecithin. Now there's no actual studies done to say that it works but I've heard from several moms that it's worked for them. Now if you do have a history of depression I would definitely not recommend it and also you obviously want to talk to your doctor before starting any supplements or anything like that. Try to keep that in mind. And lastly if you have not relieved this clog by 24 for 48 hours, definitely go see a doctor. Now, when it comes to preventing them, you want to get as close to empty as possible. We are constantly making milk all the time. It's impossible to get bone dry with your boobs. So what you want to do is just get as close to empty as possible. What that means is if you can hand express after nursing or pumping or hand expressing, <laughs> if you can hand express and you're getting streams, you still have some milk in there. If your boob is feeling soft and squishy and you're just getting drops of milk, then you're pretty much empty. Not wearing constricting clothing is a big one. It is the main reason why I only wear a nursing tank this far along. I've noticed anything more constricting, whether it has an underwire in it or not, is just too much for my boobs. I get an immediate clog and they just like riddle the bottoms of my boobs. And that is a really difficult spot to get them out of. But just make sure that you're not having super constrictive clothing on. Having the proper latch and flange size is key. When you are exclusively pumping, the right flange size is your perfect latch. That is what you need to aim for. And if you're worried about your latch, I definitely advise you go see an LC about it. They can definitely help you with that. As far as exclusively pumping, there are a number of breastfeeding groups. Uh, I admin one. It's called Breast Bottle and Beyond on Facebook. We size people there. I know there are countless other Facebook groups who will be able to size you if you have questions on it. Also, the Google Doc that I'm going to leave down below for you guys, I'm going to use a couple of photo references for you guys to gauge at home unless you're uncomfortable having somebody else size you. But having the right flange size and having a good latch is definitely key because that's going to help you empty better. Now you can take a lower regular dosage of lecithin, but the same things go into this as I mentioned before. If you have a history of depression, don't take it. Talk to your doctor before starting any of them. You also want to keep out an eye of what causes you clogs. What causes me clogs is not going to cause the next mom. You know, everybody is different and that's the beauty of breastfeeding. So well, that's kind of the beauty of everything. But anyways, when it comes to my personal experience with clogs, I had maybe two with Sophie and it was really in the weaning process. When it came to my breastfeeding journey with Remy, I was really surprised that I was getting constant clogs. I blame my oversupply my massive oversupply. Figuring out how to empty well with that oversupply took a very long time for me, a very long, painful time. It was a learning curve. I am a master at hand expressing now, and that is because I had so many clogs. The best thing that helped me this time around was a warm compress, massaging, aka shaking my boobs, <laughs> and hand expressing. Those things are key for me. Also having a good pump regularly with exclusively pumping. If I'm using a pump that's not efficient and emptying me, I suffer the consequences the very next day. I've also noticed that if I sleep on my sides at night, I will get clogs in the side of my boobs when I wake up and do my first morning pump. I also notice if I have tighter clothing on, like when my nursing tanks come fresh out of the dryer, they're actually pretty tight on me in the chest area. And I like that because it's supportive, but I do notice I'll probably get at least one clog that day. Another time that I can notice if I don't empty well. Basically, there are some days where I don't feel like sitting on the pump for another five minutes and emptying well. It's normally that last pump of the night and I will cut it and I know that I have just like the tiniest bit left but I'm so tired I'm like what's like an extra five minutes I'll just go to bed wrongo because guess who has a clog in the morning 
the worst ones for me are the ones right behind the nipple holy just even thinking about them literally makes me cringe those are the worst and the most painful and there are tons of hand expression videos on youtube i get asked quite frequently to show you guys how i relieve clogs i'm not comfortable with that i'm a pretty modest person i will try to find a hand expression video closest to what i do when i have a clog for you guys i will also try to leave other ones down below that might be helpful if you're having clogs after clogs and dealing with them all the time it seems like i would definitely recommend reaching out to somebody whether it be an lc or a facebook support group whatever it is to get yourself some help trying to troubleshoot with them it'll help a ton. I know it can be really overwhelming going through that, having clogs so often because they are so painful and having them what seems like every time you pump or every time you nurse or whatever it is for you, I know it's really like mentally and physically exhausting, but just hang in there. You know, you'll figure it out and it'll be okay. Try not to stress too much. I notice when I stress, I have a really hard time letting down and that makes it hard to hand express and it just is like this huge vicious vicious cycle so just try to not be super stressed out i know it's hard to do that when you're in pain and you know i get where you guys are totally at right now if you're watching this and you have a clog i am so sorry and i hope that this can help you in some way shape or form i hope you get that clog out if you guys have any further questions leave them down below i will do my best to answer them a big thank you to my friends josie and kiria who helped me with this video i love to put these breastfeeding videos together for you guys but i also like the information that i have to have merit and credit behind it so i do consult with a couple of really experienced breastfeeders I consult with a couple of LCs and I try to just get information across the board. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. Also leave down in the comments if you would like to see any other specific breastfeeding related videos. I will gladly take those into consideration. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always, thanks for watching. Okay, think of what it feels like when you have a clog. There you go. There's your thumbnail. There's your thumbnail. There you go. So if you're wondering why the thumbnail looked like a hideous picture of me, that's all it took to get inspired. My hair is ridiculous. But I had to go up. Okay.